campground review. Dream big, everybody. Last Memorial Day, we made a reservation over at Lake Michigan Campground in Hiawatha National Forest right on US 2. It was absolutely beautiful right on the sand dunes, a really nice little campground. However, we did not realize that on Memorial Day last year that we would be invaded by some pests. And when we got out of our truck, we could not even breathe. We needed a gas mask. We had these little guys that were attacking us. These miserable creatures are called midges or mayflies. I guess in the spring after the thaw, once it starts warming up, their sole purpose is to feed all the hungry fish after a very long, hard winter. Um, I would highly recommend anyone going to the Upper Peninsula mid-May all the way through the 1st of June to kind of check with their campground to if especially if they're lakeshore campgrounds um, to see if possibly um, they have an invasion of these mayflies. We were so disgusted we could not even set up our trailer that we pulled our truck immediately out of the campground and even though we were not going to get a refund for the weekend, uh, we were going to leave. We were like this is not happening and again this was memorial weekend up over the bridge on us2 at the lake michigan uh, national lakeshore the hiawatha national forest campground anyway um unfortunately we were like on our way back to the bridge and we were going to come back down state and find a campground that we could stay at for the weekend, haha, -ha, on a holiday weekend, big joke. And um, we called the Hiawatha National Forest Service and explained to them, and they were fully aware. They and nobody wanted to stay at that campground because they were being swarmed. And so they offered us another campsite over at Brevort. Uh, which was about two miles down the road and about a mile north of Lake Michigan. So it was still in the close proximity of where we were going to stay. We were a little skeptical, but I am so glad that we ended up going to that campground. It was absolutely beautiful, and there was not a single fly around which was amazing to me and it was right on a lake a fishing lake and uh, we really had a great time so I am so glad so if things like this happen to you make sure that you do call the National Forest sometimes when they're aware of these situations they will do the best that they can to relocate you Brevoort Campground is part of Hiawatha National Forest right off of US 2, north of uh, Lake Michigan in the Upper Peninsula. It is a wonderful little campground and we highly recommend it. When you pull in, there is a sanitation system off to the right. You're going to want to make a pit stop there so that you can fill up on your potable water as you go in. There is a pay station right beyond that where you can um, register for your camping and also um, pay for your stay. When we got in there, we had an absolutely beautiful, spacious campsite. It had a fire pit. Um, and it was right on the lake. It was campsite, I think, number 19. It was absolutely beautiful. It seemed to be a real family-friendly um, campground. One thing that I was impressed is, is they actually had restrooms with uh, electricity, flushing toilets, and showers. So you can have a hot shower while you're there. Uh, for the National Forest Campground, I thought it was absolutely beautiful. So here are a few shots of our stay there. 
I'm gonna quit talking but we really thoroughly enjoyed it it's in the Upper Peninsula you're gonna want to bring like a generator or something like that um, as the campsites do not have power but um, it's a really wonderful campground and definitely will stay here again That amazing sunset was at Brevoort. Um, Brevoort is just a couple minutes away from St. Agnes and Sarge and I decided to go stop at Castle Rock and we climbed I don't know how many stairs to get all the way to the top and we made it and oh my goodness the views of Magna Island and the Straits and the bridge were just amazing you felt like you were on top of the world um, this was a fabulous place to stop and visit and no there were no mayflies up there we were too far up down the road is a place called mystery spot and you can go there it's quite a unique phenomenon after Castle Rock, Serge and I decided to drive across the bridge and we ended up going east of the bridge through Mackinac City towards Sheboygan. There was a bridge view wayside that we stopped at and we got these incredible shots. It had a beautiful place to picnic right there on the lake and you could see the bridge. It was absolutely phenomenal. We absolutely loved our little weekend adventure to the Upper Peninsula, uh, across the bridge, and Mackinac City. There's a lot to do in this area. I just highly recommend that you do call ahead again if you're going in mid-May through the beginning of June, and just double check on the status of those mayflies. I guess they do swarm in the area once a year and it is normally for a period of a week to 10 days that they swarm but anyway hope you like this little review of this campground and our memorial day experience uh, going across the bridge in michigan